What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. So the way I found out about this book was a friend recommended it to me and she said Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers kicked me in the ass and called me a bitch and that was <laughs> that was enough for me. The cover was really pretty and I'm like you know what let's go ahead and give it a shot. Honey Girl is about a girl who is on the cusp of turning 29. She has just finished up getting her PhD and she is going through the common millennial experience and that that is getting out of school and having absolutely no idea what she's gonna do next. Like she has had a very regimented, structured life up until this point, because she's been in academia so long. And now that it's over and it's time to, you know, go through life and get a regular job, she has no idea what she's doing or what she's supposed to be doing. At the very beginning of this book, she wakes up because she's in Vegas and she finds out that she got married to somebody while she was in Vegas. And I really loved this relationship in the story. I think it was really really cool to see like how they reached out to each other, how they were there for each other, what kind of relationship they wanted to have. I think it was a really unique thing to put in the story. But overall, like what I liked about this was this conversation about this generational stress, this generational anxiety, this generational trauma, and it did hit extremely close to home. This book is very, very like a lot. <laughs> it was it was really difficult for me to get through at times, but it's not because it was bad. It was just because I was relating so much to it. And I can only imagine if you're also going through, you know, as a woman of color in STEM who is also queer, like that's also going to have a lot of ramifications as well. But like for me, I left school and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. The entire lead up to my graduation, I was stressed out of my mind because I was like, I don't know, am I supposed to have a plan? Am I supposed to know what I'm doing? Um, I am now 25 and I'm still not entirely positive of what I'm doing. Um, I'm still trying to do like a couple of things here and there, but it was so validating for me to see it written out on a page and to know that like, other people feel this too. Like I'm not the only one going through this. And that's one of the things I love about books because it really does show like your experience, like you are not alone. Like you may still have a unique experience to add to it, but you are not alone in the things that you are going through. There are other people who can relate to you. And I really like that Honey Girl really wanted to set out and tell this story. Like I said, it is a lot. <laughs> um, it is traumatic if you are a millennial and can relate to any of these themes at all. Like it is going to be a lot, but it was a truly beautiful story. And I can say like with my whole heart that Morgan Rogers punched me in the face and called me a bitch. Like it just, it really, really hit me. And I think the ending was absolutely beautiful. Overall, like the only problems I had with this book would be like nitpicky things, like just some pacing things or like some way things were like phrased or like that kind of thing. But like, this was a really beautiful story and I do recommend it. It has been brought to my attention that if you do not relate in this way, if you do not have that millennial experience, it's not going to hit the same. And I think that totally makes sense because this is written for people who relate to it. It's written for those people who have gone through this experience. It's not written to like shed light on it or to educate or anything like that. Like this is for people who have been through these things. And so for those reasons, like if it's not that relatable, it is going to hit different. It might not be as good, but if you are, then it is going to be a very, uh, emotional ride, but I do think some healing comes out of it as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!